Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca Shores, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this halo inspired gold and purple eyeshadow look. So we're gonna be creating this look right here, and I'll also show you how I finish the face. This is a pretty easy to achieve look, and it's gonna be flattering on most eye shapes. You can also switch up the colors if you're not big on gold and this is a little bit too much. You could always go for maybe a soft pink and keep it a little more analogous. You could switch out the purple for a different color and just use the techniques used in this tutorial or you can go ahead and just copy exactly what I do. Anyhow, if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then you won't miss any how-to or tutorials from me in the future. And let's get started on the tutorial. All right, so we're gonna start out with just using a base shadow. I'm using Mac Blanc type. You can use any shadow that is matte and close to your skin tone. And I'm using this on a Sigma large fluff and I'm concentrating it up by my brow bone and then blending it downwards all over the lid. I have already primed my eyes, so this is going on. So our primer isn't gonna be so sticky and we can blend nicely. So now I'm going in with Saucebox Battle Lash Palette's Winter Brown, and I'm using this on a Sigma E25, and I'm just starting to blend this into the crease and just above it. So as you can see, I'm using little small circular motions and then more windshield wiper motions as I get to the inner portion of my eye. And then I also have a little less product on my brush. So just make sure you're really blowing this out because we want nice transition. Don't forget to take some on your lower lash line as well. You could switch to a smaller brush if you don't want to blend it down quite so far, but just run a little bit under the lower lash line because they're also going to be blending colors down there later on. And now you're going to go in with the Sauce Box by Lash Palettes Nova, which is this really gorgeous metallic purple. And I'm taking this on a Hakuhodo J142. And as you can see, I'm starting to work it in to the inner corner crease of my eyelid. And you want to just slowly work it so that you have nice transitions here and then start patting it over the lid as well. We're going to want to leave the center space blank. So as you can see, now I'm just repeating that same thing on the outer corner. So patting on the lid and then once I get into the crease, start doing a little bit more windshield wiper motions. And I am going to pull that all the way across when the color is actually in the crease, but I'm just leaving it blank on the actual eyelid. You can do a more extreme version where you also leave the center of the crease unblended, but I want this to be kind of a more soft wearable look. So I'm also going to take that same color on this little tiny Hakuhodo brush and I'm running that along the lower lash line. I'm gonna pull this basically all the way across with the most of the color on the outer corner. Now I'm taking the Hakuhodo J142 and I'm just using that to blend. Now I'm going in with Makeup Keep Bitten and I'm taking this on a Sigma E25 and I'm just darkening up the corners. This is kind of a burgundy shadow and it's matte, so it's gonna give a little more depth to the purple. And as you can see, I'm just keeping it on the very outer edges because this is going to increase that kind of gradient look that we are going for with this halo spotlight eye. Now I'm going in with Max Sketch, which is going to be the darkest color we use. And I'm using that just barely on the inner corner and then pulling it just in the outer V and along the lash line because we, again, want this gradient. So make sure that you are applying this outside of where you applied Bitten so that we have a nice transition. And then go in with your Sigma E25 and blend that out. You're just going to want to be very gentle because we didn't actually apply that much color. So be mindful when you're blending. Try to just grab the edges. Now I'm going with Strobe Cosmetics Fortune Cookie, which is this really nice gold color. And I'm just going to use my finger to pat that on the center of my lid where that blank space was. Now I'm going over it with a MAC 239 and I'm just patting that to blend it. And I'm also taking the 249 with actual pigment on the brush and I'm applying that to the inner tear duct area on my lower lash line. Now I am just taking a Sigma E25 and I'm just blending all the edges. I just want to make sure all of our transitions are nice and seamless. 
So go ahead and give it some swirls. Now I'm going in with Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Moonstone, and I'm going to use this to highlight. I'm taking this in a Hakuhodo J5522, and I'm hitting the inner corner of my eye and then my brow bone, and then I'm taking MAC Mylar, and I'm going to highlight just a little bit more. So grab that on your brow bone as well. And then I'm taking the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and I'm just going to run this right along the lash line because I'm going to be adding some dramatic lashes. You can skip this if you are going to be skipping lashes. So just grab some lashes. If you're into that, I'm going with the House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes, and I'm just going to pop those on real quick. You definitely can skip lashes if you want, but I think these look really pretty. So I'm going for lashes today. Let's finish the face. I'm going in with Ben Nye's Antique Rose, and I'm just going to blend this all over my cheeks. I'm starting just directly below the outer corner of my eye, and then I'm blending it towards my temples. Now I'm going with MAC Prep and Prime Lip, just so that we have a nice primed base for our lip color to go on. Then I'm going in with the Dervish Lip Pencil, and I'm using this to just define my lips. The lipstick we're going to be wearing is NARS Anna, which is just a touch darker than this. But I do like to wear a lip liner and just kind of define my lip shape a little bit more. So go ahead and line your lips. Also, once you've actually finished lining your lips, fill your lips all the way in because this is just going to add a little more longevity to your lip color. And this was a look I was wearing out and about. All right, so I'm going in with the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anna, and I'm going to apply that all over my lips, just right out of the bullet, but I am going to go and kind of make my lines a little more perfect with a lip brush, and that is going to finish off our lips right here. All right, so this is our finished look. As you can see, we have that purple and gold on the eyes. I paired it with a peach blush color because I think that's a better compliment. I don't like to be too matchy matchy and have my lip and my eyes and my blush all be very similar. I like one to more compliment and pop so they can play off each other. And then I went with NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anna. That's one of my favorite colors. I think it pairs really well with the purples we used on the eyes. And again, it will kind of pop off the more peachy tones that we used in the blush. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out and helps kind of get my videos out into the world since I am more of a smaller channel. I also put out new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any how-tos, tutorials, reviews, tips, and whatever else types of videos. And I'm always taking suggestions for what type of videos you'd like to see next, so you can always leave those in the comments below. If you'd like to follow me on my other forms of social media, those are in the down box below as well. And I will see you guys on the next video and thanks for watching.